YouTube family. Don't worry about a thing because every little thing, <laughs> listen what he say. He said, every little thing is going to be all right. And everything is going to be all right. Shout out to the Groove Master Bob Marley. I just watched that movie the other day. And man, you talking about overcoming. You see, this channel, this place, this home is for overcomers and people that's overcoming. So, yeah, it's going to be haters that dwell among us. Don't worry about them. Let them let them spectate. But this is for overcomers. And Bob Marley embodied that. But I'm again, he said, every little thing. <laughs> All right, let me let me digress. So when you're on this journey, you're gonna get plenty of people trying to knock you off your path. And understand that these are good signs. It's not supposed to just be straight. Honestly, God don't work in that way. God don't work alphabetically. You know, sometimes God show you a glimpse. He might show you Z. Then next thing you know, he on W. W. Back to A. That's just how this works. We, I know uh, the fastest way is a straight line, but the best way is God's plan. So, again, this is about overcoming. And let's get into it. So, first thing for sure, every day you wake up, you want to get higher over that hurdle and that can be anything that can be you lost the job and you like hmm dang you feel like you didn't put down but no you might be getting saved no that no that job ain't for you maybe that maybe you getting fired or laid off or being rejected is pushing you to do your own thing Remember, man, we are the lender and not the borrower. You know, so maybe it's an addiction. Like with me, I had a stronghold so strong with my addiction with corn. And I mean, the brutal dread, the shame. But like I said, you're looking at an overcomer. See, when I was on my addiction, I ain't had this glow. I ain't had this consistency. I ain't had this boldness. And when you overcome it, you need to be bold. But understand when you pray for boldness and courage, God puts you in dangerous situations. And if you don't understand how this works, You'd be like, ah, oh. you'll get scared and start running backwards. No, the whole reason he does that is because he want to know how bad do you really want this? And you got to be careful what you ask for and be specific on what you're asking for and ask for room and and oh, this is important. You're going to have to eliminate some of those old ways to make room for this new boldness and overcome it. Like you just can't be cluttered with a bunch of lies, a bunch of um, chains and locks. You got to remove that. You got to open your heart, open your mind, open your eyes. Make room for this new version of you. Make room for being an overcomer. 
I didn't always understand this. I'm going to tell y'all again. Excuse me. I had plenty of fear. And I didn't listen to the inner me. And I didn't pay attention to the signs that, hey, I put you in this situation. This guy talking. I put you in this situation and you ran off. No, I, I didn't. No, that's not. That's not the image of me. So it took me a while to really sit down and rest and be still and trust the process. So when you're on this way of overcoming, you're going to have to trust the process. It is going to get more intensely painful before it gets fruitful and joyous. It's like a woman having birth. The doctor saying, push, that hurts bad. I don't know, <laughs> but from the looks of it and the things I've heard is very, very intense, excruciating pain. But the moment the baby comes, the joy sets in, the relief, the glory. You don't even remember the pain. Like I tell you, look at me, man. I don't I don't look like what I overcame. I don't look like what I've been through. And, and overcomers come in all shapes and sizes. Yeah, you. It looks like you. Overcoming look like you. And you in the back. Yeah, I see you. You too. So I just want y'all to take it all in. Don't get discouraged and keep pushing, keep striving, keep leaping. It, you know how you got to crawl before you walk, but what they don't tell you is another level. Jogging. First you crawl, then you walk, then you go for a jog. And right now, I got the hoodie on. I got my, I'm at the park right now. Cause that's what I'm about to do. Yes. Still at the end tail in the winter, but this is how you overcome. You put yourself in very uncomfortable situations. You get used to being in these uncomfortable situations and then you break through. So I've been consistent and obedient. And then my also ingredients to becoming an overcomer, consistency and obedience. And God just smiles. He said, look at my child. Look at him. And remember, if Jesus can do it, so can you. So high five, like, subscribe, share this video. Peace.